You got Peel Skid here telling you the fantastic story of five southern boys trying to make a go of it in the wild, wild west. Yep, Utah is the place and Moab is the city. These here boys set out each day from a luxury condo to travel by dirt bike as if they were on the surface of Mars. By name, you got David, who is a throwback to the old hippie days of the early 70s. Then Mike, who was a plantation owner in the back country of Greene County, Georgia. Then Matt, who is probably the best dirt bike bank robber in the southeast, specializing in choo-choo trains. Then Steve-O, who is an Elvis Presley impersonator and just finished a gig in Las Vegas. And finally, Hawk who is an IT cloud architect, whatever the heck that is. Up, By far, this is the greatest dirt bike team ever assembled in the history of the United States of America. The details are in the fine print. 450 miles of rock, sand, water, cactus, and pure hell each day for five days in a row. A true test of human endurance but this group is the best in history. I'm gonna tell you right now, this trip is epic. One famous boy slid out on a side slope pass and nearly went off a 2,000 foot cliff. Sorry to say he screwed his knee and after a hospital visit, he was out on the last day of the ride. Steve-O crashed and burned about 15 miles back into a trail known as Poison Spider. This caused his throttle to stick and he had to ride back out of that trail WFO until he got home. We wondered why his pants smelled so bad. Hawk took over the lead guide position on the last day because the hippie guy was about 40 pints too low. Mac picked up about $150,000 but lost it over a cliff when he fell climbing a sheer rock face on his mighty WR250 steed. This here experienced group of professional riders rode the trails, Poison Spider, Sovereign Trail, Cane Creek, Chicken Corn, Porcupine Rim, Fins and Things, and Slick Rock among others. Let me tell you, that there Slick Rock and Hell's Revenge was some of the meanest varmints the group ever encountered. But behold, they all survived. Slick Rock is one of the coolest those boys conquered. Slick Rock is like riding Stone Mountain if you had about 100 Stone Mountains in a row. It was like an old timey roller coaster. Straight up the face, straight down the face, and every time you came down the face, you landed nine inches of soft sand. Most buckaroos can't even do a little wheel, let alone tackle some of these monster obstacles. Just think you are in a dual cross. And you are the lead guy. That's right. Not the last guy, but the lead guy. You wiggle your bike between places it was never supposed to go. You go up hills that would be impossible for anyone else. But this experience group, riding sand so deep it makes no matter what way you turn those handlebars, you're going to go straight. So, what does a hellacious bunch of boys like this do when they get hungry? They didn't kill no rattler and cook it on an open fire. They didn't eat twigs. They didn't eat scorpions. They didn't capture one of those condors and have rotisserie condor. Nope, they went to the local brewery and had prime rib and baked potato salad like any meal man would eat. Well, don't forget, they also downed copious amounts of beer to quench that desert thirst. So, if you like this little video, and its story, send donations, please, to Peel Skid Productions at 1157 We Kill Drive, down in Dirty Arizona, 96402. That's all, folks. <laughs>